So I bet you a million dollars that nine out of 10 people watching this video probably struggle with taking things personally. Honestly, this probably should have been the first video, but we're on day 11 and that's all right. I'll use a personal example because I'm always telling you guys my business. So it'll be like first thing in the day and Roman will ask me, so what is your plans for today? Or like, what, what are you gonna do today? Pretty much what he's asking me is, what are you going to accomplish for your life today? And a lot of times my immediate response is like, know what I'm doing, like, I got this. I don't need to tell you every little detail of what I'm doing today, just trust me, like, I got it. Um, and ew, it just sounds so ugly coming out of my mouth, but how many times is that you? How many times does somebody, as a, maybe a friend comes to confront you about gossiping or some type of sin and your immediate response is like, uh, actually, you always da da da. And we take things so personally and we're so defensive and we're so, quick with our responses whenever somebody has something to say to us. So the reason why this is so ungodly to take everything so personally is because it's just that. At the heart of our reasoning behind why we are snapping like this is because we are prideful and we feel, how dare you tell me that? Don't you think I don't already know? I'm good enough. I got this. I don't need you. I am valuable. I am important. How dare you speak to me that way? This is all the prideful heart at the basis of why we're snapping at people. It's different every time, but it's ungodly every time. So vexation is like emotionally stirred up, agitated, quick, um, in your frustration. So that's what being vexed means. And this scripture says that they're a fool because this vexation immediately shows. It's known at once. The person isn't taking a moment to stop, to pray, to think. Even if you're being wronged, you're not taking a moment to say, is there something true to what they're saying? Or is there something I need to work on? Or like, Lord, they're completely wrong, but I need to hold my tongue because I want to be godly. What does it say that a prudent person chills? Like they're not so quick to give a rebuttal or to tell somebody that you got it. And I know, I know, I used to get in trouble for saying I know so much when I was a little kid. So if you don't want to be a fool, just take a moment to pray and think before you snap at somebody. Last point, is the most important thing what others think of you or what others think about God? Because whenever we are easily vexed, emotionally stirred up and snap at people, we are saying, it's more important what you think about me. Don't you know that I'm worth more than what you're saying? Don't you know that I got this? Don't you know? Don't you know? Instead of being like, you know what? I'm representing God at all times. And it's really more important that they see godliness in me because I am an ambassador of the king. Therefore, I need to be prudent and I need to just hold my tongue and think of a God honoring way to go about responding to this person. All right, reflect. When are you most defensive? Part of knowing how to respond correctly is, is knowing beforehand when you're most likely to respond wrong. So just write those down. Maybe it's specific people, husband, kids, work, family, whomever, like get it in your mind so you already know, okay, when XYZ happens, I need to be extra aware. Write them down and bring them before the Lord and ask him for help. Whenever these specific things happen in my life, help me Lord to care more about what people think about you than me caring about what people think about me in that moment. Okay, act. How much of your self-defense would vanish, of your taking everything personally would vanish. If you walked into a room, you walked into a conversation, you walked into work, you walked into school, you walked into church, to serve people, to see the best in others, to love them well, not to come and be served like people owe you something. If you are this person, I can be this person that takes things personally. We just need to be praying for humility. Every morning, wake up, write it on your arm, write it where you're gonna see it, write it on your doorpost, write it on your window. Pray to be humble today. I promise you that this will start to change your heart the more you do it. Confess your sin, confess when you are not humble, and watch your life changed. Humility needs to be the base of who we are, not pride.
All right, like I said, I love you guys. This one hit super close to home, so I feel like I just need to go sit in sackcloth and ashes or something. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day 12. Love you.